Hello. A couple weeks ago I was surfing around on the internet and I come across this little gem. About the cheapest supercharger I've ever seen. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too small for any vehicles I own and a little bit too big for any of the small engines I have. So, uh, that got me thinking. Maybe I'll play around in Fusion and see what I come up with. This is what I come up with. Started with a longer unit and worked its way down to this. This should approximately feed a 250 with, well, if it can build pressure, about 10 pounds of boost, I'm hoping. I uh, made a motor mount up to do some testing with an electric motor. Gaskets made it a TPU and a uh, set of gears. I got a machine out some shafts with some flats on it and threaded end so I can put a keeper bolt on to keep the gears in place and we should be ready to test. Okay, we're gonna test the boost level, or boost potential, currently. Well, that makes absolutely zero boost. Moves a decent amount of air, even without the just the nozzle. But I'm guessing it's bypassing on the inside. Either around the rotors or on the faces. The uh, ender's been out of commission for about a week, so I haven't really been able to do anything to try and tighten it up. But that's the next step. Well, luckily enough, look what come in the mail today. So I should be able to put the ender back together and maybe I'll try printing with some carbon fiber. Make some carbon fiber rotors. So, on disassembly, uh, come on camera, focus. No, not gonna focus this maybe maybe you can see that what there's some grease coming out of the bearings so that's obviously where some of my air leakage is the other issue is gapping not too bad there but it looks like I'm gonna have to make the housing slightly smaller and the rotors just slightly bigger and that should help Back in Fusion, I'll make the rotors a little longer and the housing a little tighter. And then I will design uh, end caps for the bearings or bearing covers. A you know, different end cap altogether that'll allow me to seal the shafts and I'll just cover the one that doesn't have an input completely. And throw some gaskets in there and. Uh, I should tighten it up a fair amount and I should hopefully be able to make some sort of pressure. Here I'm designing lip seals, two way lip seals, kind of like a crankcase seal to hold pressure in both ways. I don't want anything coming in and I don't want anything coming out. So the two directions and I eventually just joined this whole seal to the gasket. And that should make life a whole lot easier right there. And uh, yeah, pretty much ready to start printing. So I think I'm going to leave the video at that and uh, there most likely will be a part two and hopefully three or four once I make some pressure and figure out what I'm going to stick this on. 
got a couple motors in mind, but we'll see what happens. Got to make it work first, I guess. So, hope you guys enjoyed this, and like and subscribe if you did, and I'll be back with more.